Hello, hi, this is Dr. Ith Sham and today we are going to talk about the anticipatory medications. So these are the medications which are prescribed to someone who is on end of life, um, the last days of life to keep the patient comfortable and these are given as um, PRN and um, given through the subcut route. So these are actually for the symptomatic control, as I said, to keep the patient comfortable who is on end of life or um, on the last days of life. Um, in our previous video, we, we discussed about the cinch pump or cinch driver prescri prescription. So sometimes the cinch driver is prescribed along with these anticipatory medications. Okay, um, let's um, have a look on this is how an anticipatory medication prescription looks like so pretty simple the patient name okay let's write hypothetical name abx mr abx hospital number say for example it's a hypothetical number hospital number or hns number uh, here is going to come the gpr consultant um, his name over here and uh, yeah here's going to be allergy say for example the patient is allergic to statins so you're going to write if it's allergic to something else as well you can write that one as well say for example it's allergic to penicillin as well patient's location um, say for example it's in acute ambulatory acute medical unit date of birth let's write a hypothetical date of birth and ward you're going to write that one so this is um about the bio date of the patient um now here um you're going to prescribe the medications you see that his indication is the medication name, his dose, frequency, maximum um, dose in 24 hours. And then it's a route. And here comes the prescriber's doctor's signature, name, and the date. Uh, now, the thing is that the medication name, you need to write in the bold letters. The rest of the things you can write in small letters as well. Um, so, let's write... Um, and the most common medications that are prescribed. So the first one is morphine. And we are prescribing the morphine for pen. That's the indication. What's the dose? So the dose is going to be 2.5 to 5 mg. 2.5 slash 5 mg. So I can't write it properly over here because the space is less. So you're going to write it 2.5 to 5 mg. Frequency, when we give it for the pan control, it is every one hour. One hour, but you're going to write PRN because you're not giving it every one hour. So it's PRN if required. So maximum dose for the morphine is 30 mg. And after like, the 30 mg you need to review and the root is going to be subcut root is going to be subcut for all of the medications because we give these medications as subcut and here's going to be the prescriber's signature and here's going to be the name you can write the name here okay and the date the date you are prescribing um say for example we're going to put today's note 29 08 24 so this is going to be the same everywhere, okay? The prescriber's name, date, and the signature. Let's move towards the second medication. The second me medication is, again, the drug is the morphine. But this time, this morphine is given for uh, breathlessness. Breathlessness. And the dose is the same, 2.5 to 5 mg. But here the frequency is every four hours. Okay, PRN. I'm not writing the hours, but you need to write here because the space is less, so I can't accommodate each and everything here. And the maximum dose for the morphine, again, that is 30 mg. And the root is subcut. Now, the third medication we are moving towards is midazolam. Midazolam. And this is given for, we know, agitation. And the... And the dose is again 2.5 to 5 mg. Again, you're going to write it like this, 5 mg. And it is given every one hour PRN. So you need to write every one hour PRN. 
and the maximum dose for uh, the midazolam is also 30 mg uh, you can give in 24 hours uh, the next uh, medication we are moving towards is levomi promazine promazine and this is given for nausea and vomiting the dose here is 2.5 6.25 to 5 mg okay and this levomipromazine is given every six hours prn i'm not writing the hours but you need to write it over here because the space is less um so this levomipromazine is 2.5 to 6.25 every um six hours prn and the maximum dose for the levomipromazine is it is 25 mg so maximum dose for levomipromazine that's given for the nausea vomiting is 25 mg per um in in one day and we give it every 6 hours prn the last medication over here is glycopyronium glycopyronium and this is given for respiratory secretions and the dose is 200 mcg that is microgram you so you need to write like microgram as a full okay and this is given every one hourly prn one hourly prn and the maximum dose in 24 hours is 1200 microgram and the root is again subcut um, so subcut SC you need to write in bold letters. Um, this medi um, uh, the the medication name you need to write in the bold letters. The rest you can write in uh, um, in in small letters. It's not in small alphabets actually. Um, it's better to write when you are writing every one hour. So better to write it as O N E rather than just putting um a, a one over there and the four like um, what we used to write in maths so it's, it's better if we write it in in the alphabets like f o u r um the name as i said and um you can write in small letters the name signature that the date remains the same it's the same thing Okay, um, the last thing that is important is that if someone is having an AKI, deranged renal functions or CKD, so we don't give the morphine. Instead, we prescribe oxycodone. So the oxycodone dose is 1 to 2 mg every one hour for the pain. Okay, and for the breathlessness, we give same dose, 1 to 2 mg, but it is every 4 hour. Like the morphine is given for the breathlessness every 4 hour. And for the pen, every one hour PRN, but the dose for the oxycodone is 1 to 2 mg. Hopefully that helps.